Good afternoon, ED4315. This video is for our Midland co students, the Midland cohort who uh, enjoyed spring break last week. This week, uh, you are back in session, and so Ross is off for spring break. So I promised to post a video, and I apologize for the delay. I um, meant to post this on Monday, but better late than never. Uh, so basically what we did last week here at, in Alpine was we administered the basic sight word vocabulary assessment. So Midland students, you will need to refer to page 139 in your text, which has the basic um, instructions, crib sheet. Uh, you will have a quick check for basic sight words. That's 2A and basic sight words 2B. And pay attention, you will need to create flashcards and also bring with you a cell phone with a timer on it as to administer this test. Uh, so, and then the final assessment is to see. So you're going to be giving possibly three assessments and you'll need to be prepared to, to deliver those three assessments. That's 2A, 2B, and 2C. 2A is a quick check for basic sight words. Basically, the student reads the word on page 40, 140 and the examiner uses the scoring sheet on page 141 to record the student's responses. I often record the students and then go back and listen to it and then mark the sheet, uh, but you will have a test sheet and a crib sheet, um, so you'll need to make copies of these. I also would like for you to read pages 23 through 26 prior to administering the assessment. This goes over the assessment in detail, and you really need to, you must review this before you give the assessment. So the first one is a quick basic sight sheet. You'll um, record the student responses, um, the instructions to deliver that on, are found on page 141. Like the previous assessment, you will use a plus to indicate correct words and then a minus for those that were read incorrectly. If the student pauses for more than one second before saying a word, go ahead and count it as wrong. If the student says he or she does not know an answer, mark it with the letters DK for don't know. If the student skips a word completely, mark it in R for no response. If the student misses any words on this test, any words at all, you're then going to go to test 2B. If the student pronounces half or more of the words on test 2B correctly, then you will go to 2C. Okay. Um, 2B um, is quite detailed here, and this is where you will create uh, the flashcards for 2B and 2C. You're also going to use your recorder on your phone and you will tell the student uh, read it, tell the student what you're going to do, give the directions, and then you're going to flash the cards to the student at a rate of one to two words per second in the order which they appear on the list uh, in, in your text. After you've completed the flashing of the cards, You'll go back later and play the recording and mark the mark your score sheet. Again, plus for correct and minus for incorrect. Uh, you'll actually read the, when you read the instructions in detail, you, um, you'll keep going until the student reads uh, 10 consecutive words or misses 10 consecutive words. When the student misses 10 consecutive words, then you stop administering the assessment. Okay, and then if you do use 2C, again, you're going to use your recorder on your phone and you're going to repeat the directions. You may want to consider giving them a break between 2B and 2C because 2B is quite a lengthy exam. You'll use your flashcards again for, two, um, for 2C, which you'll need to cre create ahead of time, and then you'll go through and mark a plus for correct and a minus for incorrect answers 
afterwards. You'll go back and listen to the recording and then score your sheet. Okay, and that really is what we did last week as a class. I trust that this week you will be um, administering your SightWords assessment. And if you have not already, you need to post in Blackboard the, uh, the response, uh, your article from last week and reply to your peers. Okay, have a great week and I will look forward to seeing you on Monday.